A lot of you know Alice Chan. She is the founder of Christian Counseling Fellowship here in Pader, which is way north in Uganda. And she is someone who started about nine years ago working with little girls who had been uh, kidnapped and forced into sexual slavery with the Lord's Resistance Army. Now we're standing here in the midst of a beautiful field of corn and beans. Uh, I mean, the, 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 the nine year period has seen an amazing community transformation. They planted this, uh, this field, right? The girls planted this field, and these girls they have an amazing story. Most of them were formerly abducted. And now we have done the counseling and rehabilitation, and we have put them back in school. And we want to instill in them sustainable life in education and agriculture. So this part of the farm is a model farm where the girls will do their part of training and gain agricultural skills. But apart from that, it also helps them to get food out of here and they eat. Now we're standing here in a uh, beautiful field of cassava with a very special young girl, her name is Nancy, and she's got a remarkable story to tell. Now Nancy, you lost your mom and dad. Yeah. Uh, tell, tell me how they died. In 2002. And they died in the war? Yeah. So you became a farmer. Yeah. <laughs> tell me what you're doing with this uh, youth agricultural project here. For the first time, I clear the, the garden. We plant cassava, maize, <laughs> granas, beans. And Nancy was the first beneficiary to come in our uh, ministry. Nancy was one of the kids that was extremely vulnerable. She, she was manipulated in a sexual relationship. Actually, she was abused, not manipulated, because she was young yeah. and she needed to take care of herself and other brother. Right. But a man came and took advantage of her situation because the parents were not there to guide her and to keep to protect her. Now, she's become a really key player for you in terms of the Youth Agricultural Project. And I'd be interested in knowing how you're incorporating YAP, as it's called, into the, uh, the school life. We're standing right here in the middle of the campus. Uh, how do you incorporate it into the school? It, it, Nancy Kess has been one of the exceptional cases. When we introduced the farming, she, she took the initiative to be the leader. But what surprised all of us, she even asked for a, a small piece of land within the school, and she planted her own vegetable. And this has changed her life so, so much, because when the vegetable is ready, she picks them, she preserves them. And when she goes back in holidays, she sells part of that food scrub, raises her money, for her school fees requirement and for her daughter, and she eats part of it. But the reason why incorporated YAB into this, we want to instill agricultural learning in the lives of these children when they're in the school. 